Hey everyone, Cool Ranger 103. Now, some of you guys are probably wondering, why can't I use my R4DS? Well, here today I'm going to show you how to set it up. Okay, now we're going to need one DS, um, any SD card reader you can find. Um, I got a Kingston SD, so I kind of got things on beforehand. Of course, your R4 and a micro SD. Now, the problem is, is that even when you download the firmware from r4ds.com, you still might have some problems, like loading up the, the R4. It says, can't find dsmenu.dat, right? If it does, I know the problem. And this is how you fix it. First, you have to download WinZip onto your computer. Um, I already have WinZip on mine, but, you know, that's just because... So, I already have WinZip on my computer, so, so, what you'll need, it, what you'll need here, is the, the firmware for your, for your R4. I have it right here. English 1.18. This is an RAR file, and if you have WinZip, you need to download WinZip. Okay. Now you'll see all a bunch of this stuff here. And, well, before you do anything else, you're going to have to your SD card reader, which I'm going to use this one because that's what most of you have probably gotten. And, now, I'm going to put the micro SD into the reader. Make sure to put it in a USB, of course, as you can see, that's right there. But in a USB port. Okay. I'm going to open the folder to view the files. Um, now, I already have it on mine, but what you're going to have to do is you're going to go all the way to the bottom of the firmware and copy these two files at the bottom. You're going to want to ex click extract and extract those onto here. And then you're going to highlight the rest of the firmware. And you're going to want to extract that to a folder on your R4. And that should pretty much get your R4 up and running. If you want to find out how to work Homebrew Basics or use Moonshell, just watch my other videos. See ya.